Okay, so obviously this video is about DNS encryption. Uh, obviously SSL slash TLS, we've been seeing uh, with revelations that uh, it's not so secure. And companies like Google, Amazon, etc., who sometimes don't even have proper uh, SSL. But the thing is, we've been kind of fooled. Having these really expensive SSL certificates uh, may not actually mean anything. Um, with that being said, uh, let's try and make on the uh, local level uh, SSL actually matter and we'll show you how to set up DNS crypt for Windows uh, we're doing it on 8.1 um, to show you really quickly how to do it so real quickly you'll go to this page and download it and we're gonna want uh, the full zip not zip seg uh, just the zip file so you'll go ahead and download that and then wherever you downloaded the file, you'll unzip it. Now, uh, understand, you should right-click that zip file and go to Properties, um, and then press Unblock. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you what happens. We'll go into this, where I brought a shortcut to uh, the desktop. So we'll go, I'll go in here, and we'll go into Include. So if something doesn't work, it's because you didn't unblock it. And here's what happens. We'll go to Properties, see? You gotta unblock it. So unblock the zip file first before you extract anyhow first time you see it you'll try to run dns crypt it's not going to work properly um so go ahead and use the command prompt so we'll go here uh, control r cmd i am sorry windows key r so as it brought us uh, to our username i have it in my downloads folder so we'll do cd down Loads, and then we'll do DNS and then another and then because we want to be in the bin folder we'll add another slash bin and go in and do the file uh, match it up they're there now remember this will not work without libsodium uh, it just will not period and we'll see why so if we go ahead and type DNS crypt and go ahead and press enter it's going to grab the certificate it did a new key pair um, and uh, the fingerprint looks okay, obviously. And now we're proxying from the local host. So as you see here, like I told you, that DLL file is extremely important. Uh, it is because it is utilizing it. And if you're trying to install as a service, you're gonna need that all the time as well. So real quickly, uh, obviously you're not gonna want this open all day long, right? Well, we'll get into how to install that as a service. Uh, so it could stay in your download folder forever and it'll automatically run when Windows starts. So we have that loaded, now what do you do? Well, you need to go to your network adapter. So I'm going into mine, going to change adapter settings, right? And depending if you have Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or whatever your adapter is, you'll go to that. Um, I'm going here because I need to for my case. Uh, so we're going into uh, my adapter here. Now, you could set it up for IP version four and six. Uh, at least version 4 I know most people will have so preferred DNS normally I have the Google 888-8844 uh, but in this case we need to put 1270 uh, oops 0 uh, 1 right go ahead and press OK now if you did have IP version 6 and no harm in doing this too right you could do 127.0.0.1 wrong and why? Simply because this is not a normal thing, right? IP version four is not the same as IP version six. As you look over here, see this right here? That's more of your uh, IP uh, version six. It is not the basic digits, right? So in this case, right now, it is not supported, uh, at least not that I'm aware of, um, but it really doesn't matter for right now. So we've already put that in. So now you can't contact me and say, hey, I tried to do IP version six, but it said the IP is wrong. Of course it's wrong because it is not just digits, it's hexadecimal. Um, sorry I had to do that, but prevent the comments that I'm sure I would probably get. So we have that done. We're looking here, right? Now, how do we know, do we have a bad SSL site or what is it being used or uh, whatever the case is, right? So we'll go over to our friends over at Hotmail right so I'm gonna go ahead and hit hotmail let's watch this screen oh we got lucky I guess right now it, we have a certificate that was good right so let's go ahead and try Gmail then see if 
we get hit with the certificate and I guess I already had it in here so that doesn't do me any good um, uh, can't really think of a site that uh, I haven't gone to uh, that I could go to for you let's see because I'd like you to see it go in action here but everything's looking good sadly I mean good uh, but um, I'm not sure what to tell you. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, here we have it. We've received something, and it's been reset by the peer. Okay, so this is a warning. This is not good. So, um, and obviously this is a crap thing. God knows where the HTTPS is coming from or whatever it's just not a secure site so basically that's what this is telling us and uh, alright so we're done with that example so now how do we set this up as a service because we don't want this stupid window open all day right so as we do DNS tab and you could do dash dash or tack however you want to call it install unable to install the service likely because I'm not as an administrator I don't have elevated privileges if you go ahead and do that that's how you would do it so if you tack tack or dash dash install it will install that as a service so you don't have to constantly go through that and again it may not work if you have the files blocked which I do have them blocked um, for where the, the that installation is it is blocked in this one it is not because uh, that was our example Anyhow, uh, point being, that's how you do it. Um, if you have any problems, let me know. Um, it's quite straightforward. Um, no, oh, the other thing I want to show you. So say you don't have it going, but you've changed your DNS. Sometimes you will notice things do not load, right? Uh, let's see if we can get that to happen. There you go. So it is extremely important that you have it open and I'll show you why so pages that have HTTPS are not loading right so let's try Hotmail I, well that has a foolproof actually uh, but well, I guess it doesn't anymore I guess they're really popping up their game because it wasn't like that a few months ago I'd say but anyways so now we go ahead and run DNS crypt right let it do its thing okay so now we reload oh what do you know it magically works github magically works and as you see we have those connections here uh, they were being established um, and uh, that's basically it guys so as you see there we are uh, it's receiving all the data and going through that uh, so that's about it uh, if you guys again have questions uh, let me know